happen. There are going to be nights like that, but as long as we play together, still make the right read and make the right play, guys are unselfish for the most part, we'll, we'll live with those shots. It was another double overtime game for the Boston Celtics, but this time it was against the Washington Wizards. And while the defense was there, the Celtics shot making just wasn't, and the Wizards were able to pull away with the 115-112 victory. And although this was a tough loss, it was a bounce back game for Jalen Brown as he finished with a total of 34 points and six rebounds. I'm not surprised that he's a prideful guy. He you know, holds himself to a high standard, like I said, and he, he, knew, he knew he was gonna have a bounce back game. He, he said he really wanted to focus in on, on you know, maintaining every possession and playing through every possession. And you can see the focus and attack and springing the step from the uh, start of the game. I think we played particularly well. We didn't even shoot the ball well, um, and we still battled. So we got to keep that up, get ready to battle again on Monday. We got to knock some shots down, we be ready to guard. Um, but I like our defensive effort. Given the, the big picture overall is that we defended extremely well, um, night and day effort wise from the other, from the other game. Felt like we, we played well defensively. We kept mentioning the shots are going to fall, they're going to fall, that's going to turn. But uh, and there are going to be nights like that. But as long as we play together, still make the right read and make the right play, guys run selfish for the most part. Um, you know, we'll, we'll live with those shots. Now, Josh Richardson also spoke post game and he said he felt the team, they battled well and they took steps forward in their overall intensity and they just need to learn to bring that day in and day out. The Celtics will now fly back to Boston where they'll host the Chicago Bulls on Monday night.